Oh my God. Yes. So the Flyers pick up a win against the Capitals at home. Uh, this was a overall better game. Uh, they really did survive in this one. Uh, the Capitals were kind of pushing along towards the end of the game, but I'll get into that. Uh, but besides that, they picked up the win, two points, it's all that matters. Uh, and again, this was a game where they came into it. Uh, they played the game last night in Carolina. That was, to me, that was a step in the right direction. I thought they played a good game in Carolina despite the loss. They did get a point out of it. Uh, and that the point out of that, if they won the game, they would have been one point ahead of them now since they won tonight. But uh, Carolina got the extra point. They had 52 last night. Flyers had 50, and now they're tied. Uh, both teams are tied for fourth place. The Penguins and Islanders, they both have 57. Uh, tied for second and then the Capitals at 65 so the Metro is really tight uh, Columbus is also behind in six with 50 and they played really good in their last stretch so this is a good game from the Flyers I thought they had an overall better game from the whole road trip obviously they were able to pick up uh, the wins uh, the win tonight and they didn't give up more than two goals in their first period the last two games uh, they've given up two goals in the first they've also scored two goals in the first so the first, they've been giving up more goals, but they've also been scoring. So that's, I guess, a better thing. They're not going into it losing and getting killed already. And by the end of the first gear, at the end of the first period, the game is basically over at that point. Uh, and it's kind of it's kind of hard when you give up, you know, that many goals in the first period. Then you're just battling from behind for the rest of the game, and that's hard for a team to do. Uh, and tonight they stuck with it. They went up early. Konechny, really nice goal. Uh, and then the Capitals came back with two goals, Backstrom and Verana. And then Hag tied it for the Flyers. First period ended 2-2. Two uh, and then the Flyers had a 13-8 to shot edge. So I thought they actually played a pretty good first period. Had a lot of chances, drew a couple penalties. Uh, but as for the penalties, I thought the, the refs were absolutely horrible tonight. There was a lot of bad calls at the end of the second period. Uh, and the, the Capitals, they really owned the Flyers in the second period. The shots were like 7-0 at one point, And the Flyers' first shot came at 13-30. Uh, so it was a while before they got their first shot. Uh, and the Capitals really owned that. I expected that going into the second anyways. The Capitals are a very good team. Uh, and a team that is honestly didn't probably they probably didn't play their best period in the first and they probably came out wanting to do that and they did that in the second period uh, and then Kevin Hayes scored shorthanded for the Flyers a beautiful goal in the backhand then it was three to two I thought Hart had a better game uh, that first goal from Backstrom was a little squeaky went under his arm I think he might have been able to stop that but all in all he did get the win uh, and his numbers have improved from that uh, so again uh, this was a very good game tonight from the Flyers I thought they played really good uh, they now have Tampa Bay on Saturday. That's going to be tough. Then they got Boston on Monday. So they got a couple good, uh, couple good games and some tough teams coming up. And thankfully, they are at home. If they were on the road, I'd be more scared. Uh, but I think if they're able to come out of this uh, and play better, play like they did tonight, I think they'll be able to pick up the win. So my podcast, my articles, those links are on my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. And goodbye.